decided I wanted to pull out all of the shells of the hatched quail eggs. They are right here. They look very, oops, sounded awful. So they're so tiny. It's just amazing that they hatched. And I ordered this super cute little tiny flashlight. So I am going to candle the eggs and the eggs that are left in there because we're on day 24. There's some eggs left in here, and I want to see what's going on inside of them. So, yeah, so I pulled out these shells. I kind of want to clean it up in case any hatch. I don't know. I don't know if any more are going to hatch. I'm just sort of going with the flow, <laughs> letting them have a few more days because that one that hatched two days ago, it was just insane that it hatched so late. So we'll see what's going on in the eggs, see if there's any movement, and yeah. The eggs that are not viable, I'm gonna put in this bowl. The same bowl that I have. I want to start off with one of the eggs that for sure was cracked during shipping and see how it looks. Well, you can see the cracks and I set it just to see what would happen but you can sell, see it's very empty, no chick developed in that egg. So that's an empty egg. Now, here's one that I saw wiggling a couple days ago. And it's a very full egg and I see a lot of veins and I actually see some movement. So I'm going to leave this egg in there a couple more days just to see what will happen. Here is an empty egg. I can see where it started to develop, but it didn't continue developing for whatever reason. This one has a definite blood ring. So you can see, no movement, empty egg. And this was the other cracked one. Looks like it tried to start developing, but it did not develop. This one is quite heavy and I believe it, it might have a chance of hatching. I can see veins. I don't see any pipping, but I'm going to leave it because I can see that a chick definitely developed and it's possible that it could still hatch. So. I'm going to leave it. For a few more days.
This is going to be a little graphic, so I'm giving a warning. Any parents who don't want their kids to see this, just turn the video off now. I went ahead and cracked open the quail eggs that looked empty, and I found some interesting things. You can do this. It's really educational to help you know what went wrong with your hatch, if anything. With shipped eggs, it's really hard for them to make it anyway. So we had a lot of eggs that did not develop, just had a yolk in them, and it was like a perfectly developed yolk. So those didn't develop at all. And we had one that developed a little ways and then died. And then there was, a f I think there was two that had, it was looked really shaken up, I guess. And that can happen in shipping. So for whatever reason, this one didn't go very far, but it, it's really interesting to see. You can see the different stages of development of where the egg stopped developing. So one egg didn't even develop at all. This one started to form a quail but did not finish so these ones in here i did not my incubator is getting so messy i would like to clean it but i left a few eggs so there's one of the regular caternix in there and i'm leaving these celadons how many is there one two three four five six so i'm leaving six of them in there because they had full, they looked like they were fully developed when I peeked in with this adorable little flashlight. They looked fully developed and they had veins still. So that shows me that they could possibly still be alive, just hatching late. So I don't know how long I'm going to hold off on this because I can't wait forever. Tomorrow's day 25 and quail are supposed to hatch on day 19 which most of ours did but we did have two late hatchers so one two days later and one three days later so i'm interested to see what happens with this experiment but this was just interesting to me to see you know most of them looked like this one right here this was the only one that was fully developed like that and it wasn't fully developed. It, it developed probably to day seven, I want to say, and then stopped developing. And then the other ones were kind of like this gooey. Maybe they developed for like 24 hours and then stopped developing. So very interesting. Our hatch rate so far is 50% on the regular Caternix because we had six hatch out of 12. And then the other half was 12. We had three out of that. And I'm really bad at math, so I don't have percentages on that. Another thing I found really interesting, I'm going to turn this light off so we can have better coloring. You can see them better. They are growing so fast. So I switched their water out for this chicken water with marbles. They're still on the blended up food in the coffee grinder. But the two that hatched first are so much bigger than our late hatchers. So these two hatched first. That one hatched very first and you can see... They just are developing and growing so quickly. They're already feathering out. This one was a later hatch, so it is so much smaller than those two. They're getting along just fine, but it's super interesting to me how quickly they're changing. And you can see it even more with these over here because that was the very last chick to hatch compared to the very first chick to hatch. And you can just see how tiny it is compared to those other ones. And when just a few days ago, they were all that size of that little one, they're starting to really hop up when they get scared. They jump up. So I think that's called fledging. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm new to quail, but good, it got right next to it. See how much tinier it is? compared to that one that is next to you. But they are growing so well, doing so well. I just wanted to show you, I thought that was super interesting how quickly they're growing. And I'm not, I'm not giving up on those eggs in the incubator because I cannot believe this little one hatched. 
Like four days late, that little one hatched all by itself. And there's no pipping on those other ones, so there shouldn't be any problem that I open the incubator and they should have just a fine time hatching if they're going to hatch. If not, that's okay. I am really, really happy with the hatch rate. 50% hatch rate is pretty good on shipped eggs. So my Caternix got a 50% hatch rate. And then these guys were three. So far, these guys are three out of 12. So that's not nearly as good, but still out of... There were, I think there ended up being three or four eggs that were actually cracked that I did not see the cracks and try and seal. But even on the sealed, we sealed the cracks with nail polish. They did not develop and they just, they just couldn't develop because of their damages. And it wasn't the company's fault or anything. It was just, it just happens in shipping sometime. There's nothing you can do about that. But Yay. Now that I've got these guys, hopefully we will have at least one rooster out of all of them and we can hatch our own. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying this journey. It is really fun learning about quail. <laughs>